Hey everybody, L the Geek here with a first impression from pretty much a first time player of Killzone. Um, when Killzone first came out on PS3, I believe it came out in the range of when my PS3 was on its either third or fourth uh, Yellow Light of Death in that little series and then I ended up getting one again, then I didn't go buy it. But just recently, I went and bought a Slim. I had the the 40 gigabyte FAT, and that thing was horrible. Uh, my my motherboard went out. I had it like fully ventilated. Everything there was like a little fan I had, not attached, but like just an extra fan I would keep next to it, and it went out on me eventually went and grabbed the slim so here I am now I probably played Killzone 2 multiplayer for like an hour hour and a half but going into Killzone 3 for me at least it's a new experience to me uh, of course it doesn't from, from what I've seen so far it doesn't have uh, a lot of the innovation or differences and variations of what you would say like a, a crisis 2 has but I must say I really 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 do like this beta so far I mean some of you guys that have played Killzone 2 uh, it might look like a clone but I mean if you play Call of Duty Black Ops 9 times out of 10 it's pretty much the same exact game with a, a few different things here and there, you have you know your your different maps. They look different. Uh, you probably have different um, races and you know factions that you can play as. But to the core, it's still the same exact game. Now, as a person that mostly plays, that plays a lot. Well, that used to play a lot of Black Ops. Still plays a lot of shooters. I can definitely say that for me. This is truly a breath of fresh air. I mean, I love being able to play games where I can play as a medic. That's pretty much the only class I like to play as because I like, you know, uh, resing the rest of my team and doing stuff like that, getting yourself extra points. Um, also, just it's cool. I mean, I, I have the little bot, the little meta bot running around with me, shooting stuff up, and I was just throwing up the the revives it was it was nice if I do say so myself I, I really enjoyed it um, probably be a little bit better if I was able to play with some friends I haven't well I have some that were on but eh, you know it just sometimes it really it's just that's kind of like a a weirdness like when I'm playing those type of games with my friends I really don't like to be in the the regular um, parties that's like how with like 360 I could just throw up a party everybody just go in you know I'm not like I just don't like the in game chats I, I prefer like a uh, a full PS3 chat with like friends uh, I guess it's you know maybe I haven't really dug around that much about the private chats on the uh on PSN yet but you know who knows uh that's not something that's going to make me put it down on the game but like I said I mean to me so far it's a pretty it's it's a, it's a breath of fresh air I love the medics I love uh the the different classes I don't like how on Frozen Dam if you're the hell gas you spawn in that little room and if the ISA are smart enough, they can sit there and pin you down, like what happened to me earlier. I was pinned down for at least, this is a video that I didn't record and upload. I was pinned down for at least a good three to four minutes in that little spawn room where you start at the beginning. Because a lot of the people were standing behind us and when you spawn, you spawn a little bit forward. So they were just standing behind us with medics. You know, with the little bots out, and we're just lighting us up for a couple minutes straight, and it, I, it really got annoying. 
Um, I think the tactician has to go out and grab another tactical spawn point, but nobody on my team was able to make it out of the spawn to go and do that, so it was, it was really hell for a minute, for me at least. Um, I'm not gonna, I didn't give up, obviously, because I was, you know, it, it's, I'm still debating and seeing how I like it, you know, seeing if I want to, if I wanted to keep my pre-order or if I wanted to downgrade my pre-order. Uh, I think after playing it, I'm going to keep the same one I have. I'm also getting, like I was saying, I just got my camera in for the, the move. So, I mean, that cost me 10 bucks. Now I just have to buy the the motion controller and the, the navigation controller and then I'll be set to go. I'm also getting the gun. Probably not going to use the gun online, but... Uh, you know, I'll probably play against the bots with it, just to to have fun. I, I know for sure I'm going to do the the co-op campaign. Then I'm going to go and get get it in with uh, some Time Crisis Four, uh, SOCOM Four. You know, so just the the added move part. I mean, that's pretty cool for me. That's one of the reasons why I first bought the move as a put. Well, I, I have the Wii. I'm building up to get the move back again because I had it before then my PS3 messed up so I took it back and I have the connect and I love the connect connect is fun but I, I wanted well obviously now they don't have that many games out but just the fact that with the move I'm able to play actual gun games and I, I mean if I want to I could pick up that NBA 2k11 which I bought for the PS3 and use the, the move controller for that too so I mean hey just the move com compatibility for me that's pretty cool I'm also working on my little 3d TV so hey another thing for me to try uh, for Killzone and for just other games uh, that I that I'm gonna have on PS3 as well including NBA 2k11 but off of those parts of the games What's what I from from what I've seen so far of this game? I don't. I think I like it. Uh, you know, I mean, some of the guys I've been playing for a while is probably a lot of the same, a lot of the same stuff. But I don't know. It works for me. It, it just sometimes I just like playing a game that just works. And for me, this just works. I can go in. I'm actually now, I've figured out how I like to play. And I'm putting up like 1.3 to 2 KD per game now. I mean, I, I played for a little bit. I guess you can probably say that some of the, the better guys weren't on yet. But then, I'm not saying that I suck or anything. <laughs> I mean, it's, once you... I think this, the the way they made it, in my opinion, they kind of dumbed it down. Because uh, I can go play Killzone 2 and I'll be pretty average. And I think they, they kind of lowered the difficulty level to pick up some of the, uh, the online difficulty level and, you know, how easy it is to kill. To pick up some of the flak and pick up some of the Call of Duty stragglers. Because, in my opinion... In Call of Duty games, like, well, not Black Ops. Black Ops, you still have to put a couple of bullets in, but it just seems a lot easier to kill. And in the first Kill Zone, well, Kill Zone 2, being a person that played this the day before the beta and I was having problems killing people, not because I suck, but because, you know, just the, the controls and everything, I, I hadn't figured it out yet. And I jump into this Killzone 3 beta and everything is just right as soon as I get it. And about my fourth game in, I'm going, I put up like 22 kills and 9 deaths or something like that. I mean, it was something crazy, but I don't know. It just seems like they dumbed it down so the average gamer, the average player would be able to go in if they're smart enough and take over a game or you know just average pretty decent kills once again i'm not downplaying myself but i'm just saying that it just the the difficulty level in this game to me seems like it's a little bit 
lower. It, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard to get in and, and go. At, and they probably wanted it to be like that to make it a little bit more people friendly. I mean, a lot of the people on PS3 big up this franchise as, you know, the Halo killer, the Call of Duty killer. Um, is it that? I wouldn't say. I don't. I wouldn't say it was, but you know, it's still a solid franchise. I, I don't really think the way you should label a game is as a killer of this or that and the other. Because if you start putting it as that, you're setting yourself up for a failure, in my opinion. Because as soon as you set something up, as soon as you set a game up and say it's going to be this, this, it's going to be that, you're gonna, you're, you're setting yourself, you're putting it on a, on a pedestal. And when every little thing that doesn't look right in that game that you start to notice, it becomes more and more crap. So when I go into games like this, Killzone, I just go into it, open-minded, and hey, I mean, what can I say? So far, so good. It, it worked. Uh, I'm still going to buy it. Still going to get the, the hell gas. I don't know how long I'm going to play it with all the games that are coming out, but I know I'm going to put some time into it. Um, I haven't been playing Black Ops a lot, but I know that this here will at least fill my FPS multiplayer until uh, Crisis 2 comes out for sure. And, you know, for time to come. Uh, I'm also going to be picking up Bulletstorm 2, so I'm going to have to see how I balance out my time between those two. So, you know. Um, Anyways, guys, that's about it. I think I might have some more gameplay after this because I'm just recording it straight off of Audacity and I'm going to paste this into the video. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see some more videos, just let me know. I, For now, I'm just going to stop playing the beta until the game comes out so I can, you know, so I don't tire myself of the game before it actually comes out. Um, but that's it. Elva Geek, guys. Have fun, and I'm out. Peace.